Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with your Gamer Goggles and today we have another box breaking for you. As with all my box breakings, I have never seen the contents of this package, or I should say most, because sometimes I cheat. Uh, this is a game, a historical war game called Armada Invincible by Zvezda Games. And it was created by Konstantin Kravenko. Uh, inside you can see uh, rules and stuff and lots of pieces which we're going to take a look at. Dry erase markers. Little uh, hex spaces for the ships. I do believe that this ship, or this ship, this box set comes with two, two, uh, two ships, which we'll get into in a minute. Right now we're going to take a look at the uh, game board, which is a series of tiles. Very nice, actually. These are. I think these are PVC based. Um, lots of water, islands you can build, things of that nature. We're going to set those off to the side. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiles. And these are. 12 by 8, so you get a pretty good sized playing field. Uh, we're going to go to the easy stuff first. You get uh, fire tokens. Here, we're going to zoom in on the stuff that we can zoom in on. It's uh, clearly a D20 based game. There's a whole bunch of D20s. And as with all of my box breakings, when I get a set of dice, I'm going to roll them. And you get these little uh, holders or stands for cards or for clip, their, their clips. And uh, I guess Russian dice don't like me. That's a pretty bad roll for me, even though it's uh, like average. And then there's, uh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see these. These are, these have images on them. We're going to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, this one has oars and sails. And this one has... oars and sails. So we'll get into what those mean here and I don't know. Depends on how long it takes to play the game. It doesn't look like there's a lot of a learning curve to it. Now we're going to take a look at, well, we'll take a look at these base things first. And then we'll take a look at the uh, flyer that came with it. I I'm sure that these are for the ships. And I'm not sure if these are name plates or plates for marking damage and things yet, but we'll find out. Now we're going to take a look at Armada Invincible here. Zoom out. Uh, they, these are in Russian. You have the Santiago, the HMS Revenge, and I'm going to have to make sure that I keep everything together and we will definitely, definitely do a uh, figure forge on this because there's a lot of stuff to these boats. Um, inside you have uh, how to assemble the board instructions. You have a whole bunch of stickers for putting on your ships. A little warning 
packet pamphlet. And I'm going to have to do some research because I do not see a set of rules. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the models. We're going to zoom in quite a bit here. They have a fair amount of detail on them for ships that are, you know, I mean, I don't know how big the HSM Revenge is, but I bet it's at least 70 feet long. And this is, uh, well, let's put it in perspective. That's my TV remote. So, five inches long. Uh, a lot of little pieces for assembling it. A lot of little holes. This is... This is going to be a figure forge that's going to take a little bit of time on each of these. So we're going to have to do these as separate models. I'm going to have to make sure I keep all the pieces together because this looks like it's quite complicated. This is the uh, San Martin it says right here. The sails have uh, ribbing on them and things so they kind of look like they're uh, hand sewn. All, I'm not sure what all these little, oh these are like the, uh, for lack of a better word, these look like the chassis that help hold the ship together and stuff and give it more structure. And you've got the rigging which looks very delicate, well actually on camera it kind of looks like a rake. So let's try and zoom in a little bit more. That's the sail rigging. This whole sprue is sail rigging. And this must be the HMS Revenge. We're going to take a look at it. It's a slightly larger ship. Uh, it looks like it has more cannon ports to it than the other ship does. It's got its uh, masts for its sails here. The base and the uh, deck of the ship. Escape boats. All the little rigging things. Look at all the sails it's got. Zoom out so you can see them all at the same time. And all the rigging. Again, it has a lot of rigging as well. Well, I am, that, that is not all you get because I just double checked and it, it is missing a couple of items which I'm sure I'll email them and we'll get them taken care of and we'll add an update to this. But uh, it says you get the ship, set of game cards, San Martin model ship. Uh, the, the game cards for both ships, which those are missing. The game cards for the Santiago, which I'm not sure why one of these ships must be able to double as Santiago. The dice, movement tokens, which we got, water-based marker. What we didn't get is quick start rules, the game rules, and the scenario book. So I will uh, contact them and I will let you guys know how good it goes. This is the first time I've ever had... Uh, anything happened like this to me in a box breaking I've seen I've seen uh, it happen to other people and they've had good responses so uh, I will update I will actually update this box breaking at the uh, the time I'll add a video to it or a link to it in my annotations so that you guys can know how my customer experience went with uh, Zvezda this has been a box breaking uh, with True Gamer Goggles and the contents that you get in Armada Invincible is the dice, all the tokens, the fire tokens, the bases. Uh, from reading the back of the box I'm going to say that these are movement tokens. Uh, 
not present are the quick start rules, the game cards. But you do have the instructions and things to get started on making the book, uh, the, the models with this version of the game. So, thanks for watching. This has been a box breaking with True Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. Uh, I will follow up with you guys and let you know how this goes. Uh, the models look good. The game looks good. Uh, every Monday is uh, board game day, so check back soon. Subscribe to us. Uh, we'll do reviews and things on our blog, gamer-goggles.com. Please check there and RSS feed us. Have a good day. Hello, Geeks and Gamers. Matt Lemke back again. Uh, this is part two, I guess, of the box breaking on Space, Arm Space Armada, the Invincible. Yes. Um, Armada Invincible from uh, Zvezda Games. Uh, the package that I, I had was missing the cards for the ships, and there's actually two sets. There's a larger set. This uh, is probably for recording damage and movement, and this is probably for the crew. Like I said, I haven't played this game yet, so I really am not certain. And then on the inside, you have the rule books, which it, this rule book looks intimidating, but it's not. Um, well, and then you have the captain's basic course in a scenario booklet for the games. Now, what I want to point out more than anything is, yes, my product um, was missing these, and there is a chance that it might happen to you, or may have happened to you. Uh, what you need to do, if that's the case, is go ahead and just contact them. They're going to be pretty quick about it. They know exactly what happened. Uh, these products... the it so happened that I got a product that was intended for the conventions. Uh, and in order to get here in time for Origins in June, they shipped um, boxes with all the material in them, cellophane wrapped them, but these weren't going to make it in time into the country, so they shipped them by another way so that they would just hand them out at the shows. And that's what happened. It was just a matter of somebody used a, one package from a different pallet, and I ended up with that one. So they're aware that there's potential for a problem, um, and if you if you do run into this, by all means, contact them. They, they know right away. They know exactly which items you need. So you don't need to worry too much about... Uh, <clears throat> you don't need to worry too much about you know, everything you, you're missing, but it's always good to have that inventory just in case it's a different problem. Thanks for watching. This has been Matt Lemke with Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com.